What is up y'all? Welcome back to another video. Uh, it's been a long day at work. It is like freaking 20 below zero. We got like a foot of snow. Uh, yeah, long day. So just in the shop after hours here. Um, so <laughs> something's been weighing on me for the past, uh, I would say two weeks now since we rebuilt the trans. And yeah, we're gonna have to tear it back apart, so. I wish, uh, wish and hope you guys will stay through this one and please like and subscribe this video. So we'll, uh, we'll get right into it. Woo! So we were able to tell that I had ran that. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys. So in the last video, we rebuilt the transmission. You guys probably all remember that. Well, I have been losing sleep over this and before, and this is the reason I have not yet installed the transmission in the car. I've just been trying to find the motivation and the time to, to do this, but we're gonna have to tear the transmission back apart. I don't think I did anything wrong, but I'm not 100% sure that I tighten down the differential bolts on the new LSD, or not differential bolts, the ring gear bolts on the new LSD. So instead of putting it back in the car and hoping and praying that I did, I'm sure I did, but I'm super OCD and I just don't remember doing it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna split the case half apart for the third time and we're gonna double check that I did that. So, yeah, fun stuff. All right, so we're going to pull all the bolts across here off that hold the bell house or the. Uh, um, two case halves apart, got a couple brackets to take off, blah, blah, blah. So we'll blast those all quick, split the cases, and uh, we'll double check and see what's going on here. Okay, so we got the case half back off. Uh, what I need to do now is I need to pull uh, the shifter, the shift fork uh, mechanism assembly off, and then I need to lift uh, both gear stacks back out of here. So that way I can access the uh, bolts on the back side of the, uh, the differential here. So yeah, these are the ones that I'm not 100% sure of that I torqued down. So just wanna be sure that I did, so we're pulling it back apart. Got the gear stack back out all in one go. And now all we gotta do is just basically lift, uh, lift this out of here and set it on the bench and flip it over. All right, so we got the diff out. We're just gonna hit these uh, quick and make sure they are tight. And we should know uh, shortly here. Okay, so as I suspected, I did tighten every single one of these. Well. <laughs> All I can say is, at least I have the peace of mind now. Like I said, I, I did not wanna risk messing something up. So yeah, all the bolts were and are tight on the ring gear. So yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna throw it back together and uh, I'm gonna have to reseal it up again. I, I ran out of Honda Bond, so I'm gonna have to uh, to get some of that, that coming as well, but yeah. Just uh, make sure when you put these together that you 
document, record, or just totally remember what you've done. So that way you don't have to do what I just did and tear your transmission back apart for basically nothing. So that's probably gonna do it for this one, guys. Um, yeah, if you could like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. We'll see you on the next one. Woohoo!